we came to see your former team, uh, Asante Kotoko, play. Just, just to begin the conversation on that particular note, because that's fresh in our minds. Um, what was it like playing for Asante Kotoko? I mean, for you to come back from Lebanon and want to still come and watch <laughs> their game, what was it like playing for a team of that size? No, you know, like, uh, uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Kumasa Santo Kotko, mm. even since my childhood. Okay. So, it was a dream uh, mm. for me to play for the club. And I think when I returned from uh, Lebanon, mm -hmm. uh, and I heard they were going to play the classical, as yeah. we say in yeah. Ghana. So, yeah. I wanted to witness it. That's why I went hmm. to the stadium. Now, in recent memories, you are... Literally the only person I remember who scored a hat trick in the classical. Walk me through that feeling. I mean, how do Kotoko fans treat you when you score a hat trick, and how did you yourself feel as an individual having scored a hat trick in the FA Cup? No, for me it's it's a normal feeling, you know, as a striker or as a footballer. You know, mm -hmm. you always want to score, yeah. and uh, even before that game, I I was having a chat with one of my colleagues, yeah. like. Uh, I was going to score, and mm -hmm. he, he said maybe I'll score one. Or and I said hat trick won't be bad, ah. and, and yeah, and it, it happened. It happened, and uh, unfortunately, it was in my city yeah. because I was born in Tamale, yeah. so yeah. There's, the the spirit and Imagine. the atmosphere Imagine. was good for me. So I was very happy, and it's it's a, it's a normal way. It's a normal. It's normal for me to uh, to score, like I said before, as a striker, mm. and. Uh, that wasn't my first time scoring like hat trick, though. I think uh, uh, I scored breeze against Asante Kotoko yeah. when I was in Brekum Chelsea. Okay. So, as a striker, you always want to score, and that was a good feeling for me. Hmm. Now, let's let me take you back a little. Talk me through the signing process at Kotoko, right? Yeah. I, I think that's how you had come from Europe. Yeah, yeah, I was in Cyprus. Okay, walk with you like. What was the point of contact like? How did you feel when you got the call? How complicated or simple was the process of signing for, for the club? Uh, you know, uh, before I left Ghana, I, I wanted to join Accra as a folk. Oh, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah, but the negotiations didn't uh, went well, so uh, I decided I would. Uh, they, couldn't, they couldn't afford Sadiq <laughs> Adams? <laughs> yeah, I think. But uh, I got uh, an offer from Cyprus, so mm -hmm. I decided to go for that okay. one. So after my contract, because I was still having a contract with uh, Brickham Chelsea that time. Yeah. So after my contract, that was with, I signed one year with them. So mm -hmm. after the contract, I decided to return. Yeah. So when I, or even when I was there, mm -hmm. I, I had Steven Pollack uh, was transferred to uh, Asante Kotoko. Oh, so your relationship with yeah, Polak yeah. and Brekum Chelsea Just, yeah. and Asante Kotoko is what was the silver yeah, lining yeah, for that Yeah, yeah because, mm. and also they needed a striker, striker that time. They were not having a striker. Yeah. So, uh, so they talked with me and uh, <laughs> we came with an agreement. And especially, apart from uh, Steven Polak convincing me to join Kotoko, mm -hmm. I wanted to play Kotoko, for Kotoko before because it was a dream. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the man himself, uh, Dr. Kwamichi, yeah. uh, you know, the negotiations we had and the kind of promises and offer he gave me yeah. was okay for me. So I decided to sign for them. Lovely stuff. Now, I remember that when you signed, it generated a whole <laughs> lot of controversy in this town. Some people yeah. said that Asante Kotoko were giving you preferential treatment because they had given you a house, they had given you a car, and they were paying you some monumental wow. amount of money that the local league had not seen before. How much of that is true? And does Kotoko give you such enticements when they sign you? Uh, when you? When you talk about enticement, you know, it's normal for like for every player, you know, it depends on what you put on your contract. And yeah. especially, I always advise my colleagues, yeah. you know, uh, negotiation for yourself and also for your future is more important because you never mm -hmm. know what will happen the next day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think, all this, it was just a rumors because... You didn't get a house? No, I didn't. <laughs> I was staying in a hotel, which is normal for every player when okay. you are signed. Like, they will put you in your hotel mm -hmm. before uh, they got an apartment for you. Yeah. But, you know, like I said, as I think the team is... Uh, we have some people who are there. Uh, like, if uh, you are coming to Kotoko, mm -hmm. you, you don't go through them. Mm. 
you know, you don't go through them. Uh, they can they develop some hatred for you. Ooh. So for me, I think these are, these are, because are I these, think are these influential supporters or management people. I think some of the management people because yeah. I I came through breaking Chelsea. Okay, you know, not through an agent or anyone, not even like um, a journalist or someone recommended me, me to. Yeah. Or just a straight, straight deal between deal. two clubs. Yes, so no one knew what I signed because. I had an agreement with the club, like yeah. no one should disclose what I sign or what yeah. we have. But, uh, you know, I was staying in a hotel. Okay, it's normal because even when I was in Cyprus, I signed a season. Yeah. I stayed in a hotel for the whole year. Hmm. That was five-star hotel. Yeah. And you eat breakfast, lunch, and you can even have a room service, yeah. which is normal for everybody. It doesn't count in football hmm. because maybe, you have maybe, to maybe, eat. Maybe people feel like, Asante Kotoko don't have enough resources to go around for everybody, and then they are giving all their resources to one player. No, I sign. It's my contract. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If yeah. if you decide to take one city for your contract, that's, that's your, your own. That's your business. I, I sign my contract, so yeah. it doesn't matter how I'm treated. If I ask for a yeah. private jet and they give me, it's my contract. True. True. But what I don't like is when I was in, uh, in Kotoko, staying in a hotel, they never even gave me a pure water like take for a breakfast or lunch, I Nothing. have to buy my own food. I was just staying there because I was playing for Kotoko. Mm. And I, I needed a place to stay because I wasn't having... A place in Kumasi. Place. Yeah, yeah, so it's their job to do. But, you know, they, they painted the picture badly yeah. so that the supporters, would, because they wanted me to leave, that's the case, they wanted me to leave for them to bring maybe someone else, I don't know. So they wanted mm. to paint that mm. picture to the supporters. Mm. But if you look at your time back at Kotoko yourself, did you enjoy yourself? Of course, I, I did. I did because uh, I know what I did there is going to take years for someone to... So it's not easy to score. I, have yeah, to, I can tell good. you that. You know, I had the one of... I think uh, Opoka Free yeah. did it, but it wasn't a first, first half. Yeah. So yeah. mine was first half. A first half hat-trick. So I think it's going to be difficult. And in the FA Cup final against your own rival. Yeah. That's, that's Maybe awesome. you can do it against another club in the... Uh, first half, but yeah. not in a final against a crowd. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's different. <laughs> Talk to me about yesterday's game. Um, I'm sure you, you, you picked up certain things from the game. What were your initial observations before we even go into what I want to ask? Uh, for me, I think the entertainment wasn't there. Mm. As in the game itself wasn't entertaining. It wasn't entertaining, you know, because uh, most of the players were afraid to do things. They weren't having that confidence. You know, our supporters, they talk. That one is normal. But as a I player, feel like the young Asante Kotoko chap was having a good game. Yeah. Sally Fumuda, Siro, and then he went off. Yeah, yeah, that lefty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah left footed uh, player was uh, having a good game. And the young guy who came inside. Matthew Kujo. And, you know, the young guy is doing what he's doing because he's a young guy. And, mm -hmm. you know, even if he does it, no one talks, no one complains. They will say, oh, oh, swap. You know, you know mm -hmm. that thing. Yeah. But the experienced players are supposed to do more. They're supposed mm. to do that kind of thing mm. to excite the, the fans. Mm. But uh, I didn't see that yesterday. You know, you know, this our modern game now is like, let's just play, boom, 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 got our three points. And go. It's and like go. players don't express themselves yeah, anymore. Yeah. I mean, for, for the young star, Matthew Kujo, you saw him play uh, at a young age. What, what kind of advice do you have for a guy like that playing in a big team of that nature? Uh, for me, my advice to him is like, uh, you know, the kind of people uh, uh, in charge of him, like, I think it's uh, Baby Jet. Mm -hmm. So I, I know they are going to help their boy a lot. But uh, playing in Ghana is going to, at least, <laughs> it's going to face some difficulties because, mm. okay, when you are playing in a crash sports stadium, Cape yeah. Coast sports stadium, Kumasi sports stadium, it's different. Yeah. You can do yeah. what you want to do. Yeah. but. When you go to uh, Brekum, Wa, and uh, Doma, and all yeah. that, you know, you won't have the, the that space. Bad. Yeah, the, you, won't have, not, yeah. you won't have that space to do what you want to do. Uh, so I, I, I hope I hope you got the chance early to go outside and develop there. Hmm. Now, for Asante Kotoko as a club themselves, they've, they've changed guard. Uh, Max Okonedo is back at the club. They look like they are going in a new direction. What do you have to say about your old club? Because it's a place that, you, like you yourself said, whether your time there was the best or not, yeah. it's a place that you held dear in your heart. Yeah, 
Uh, for me, in my time, uh, we were having a very good players. And just imagine if if we were still there till mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. You know, you're having Jackson Wusu, Ahmed Adams, Awa, Mohamed, mm -hmm. Amos Frimpon, mm -hmm. you know, uh, myself. And, it doesn't and seem like such a long time ago, but all those people are already yeah, gone. Yeah, that was just 2017. Yep. So it's left with only Jenfi and uh, Felix. Yeah. So just imagine within that two years, we were st if we were still playing together. Sure. But, you know... Uh, our Ghanaian clubs call something like development, mm. but you don't you don't just you don't just sack players and say we want to develop. Every season you change players mm. and you say you don't we want mm. to develop. No, you bring in new, you know, yeah. to add up the old one. Yeah. But uh, for us, we you know, we think development is sacking everybody and bringing in the. Right now, you can look at uh, Wafa. Yeah. You see yeah. Wafa right now. You know, people say every day we need young players. It's not every young player who knows how to play football. True. So I hope uh, Coach Maxwell is a good coach. I work with him when I, in the local Black Star and yeah. all that. So yeah. I think he's he, he has started well, and I hope uh, uh, they continue like that. Let Let me take you to Ashgold, which is your boyhood <laughs> club, and yeah. uh, also the team you joined after Santé Cotton. 